That bad boy has a steel deck. Yeah, that's the only deck that's guaranteed for uh, has a warranty for life. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. that's cool. Now the pulleys and the belt that would break on it uh, <laughs> on the Amazon yard of yours that that wouldn't work. Yeah, that wouldn't work at all. Man, I, I was so happy to get that bad boy though. But dude, I've he can cut. I've seen him cut stuff like that, and he just flies through it. And normally, you think it'd be like there'd be spots that would be missed. No, he gets it all. So. I wonder if he like buys new blades. He's gonna have Very to after he mows my yard. Oh yeah, he can only sharpen them so many times. The money I pay him to mow my yards, he's gonna buy new blades oh, with. Rotates them. But yeah, we were talking about that on the way up here, dude. I. I've sunk almost three hundred dollars into that lawnmower trying to get it to run, and I got, still got no clue what it is. We'll check it out. And then your truck—I mean, your car didn't start too. That was my own fault. I left the lights on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, well, it's, yes. I came out to that. Actually, I don't know if I left them on or Hudson was clowning around the car and he left them on. I'd blame it on the kid. Hey, hey, DJ, can you turn my headphones down? Just like I don't know what number I am. Your dose. Dose. My right, headphones. So number two. <laughs> But number number one in our hearts. Isn't that what you used Obviously. to say? Brett, what was your little saying? That's good. I You're think good? if you did anything. Check. Well, the saying is like, number one. Yeah, number 15 on the field, but number, number one, one in your one hearts. Heart, yeah. <laughs> That's a movie theater. That's a movie line. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to give the, uh, the old GoPro a, a try. It's up there doing its thing. Hello. I think we should wait on that one, Brett, till. Uh, wait on next it? Th- yeah, because I want to get really researched. I don't want to throw something out there that I'm not really... I don't want to give my half response. Yeah. You know okay. what I'm saying? We, we can do it like we got a time. I mean the next recording. Hey, by the way, I know that we kind of talked about it and my schedule's stupid, but uh this week is district, next week's off. So if we wanted to get together again next week. Well we need to because we're gonna be on a camp the week yeah. after. Exactly. So, so we need to or, do it next week. Or can you turn me down just a little more? Or do we want to do a camp? One. Down. I, I won't be there me. though. Oh, that's right. You're gonna yeah. That's not we'll be in China Springs. How about this maybe. One? Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. Uh, turn up just a little. Make it first. Like, I can't hear there's, anything now. <laughs> evidently, there's some good teams. It's so in this sensitive. Yeah. That's district good. District tournament. Okay. Thank you. And they're Sorry. talking like no, you're good. There's four pretty good teams, including ours, but only two go to state. There you go. So we got to make. We got to make it. We got to make it. You said you're gonna be in China Springs. Yeah. Where's that? Outside of Waco. Waco. Outside of Waco. Hey, last time we were down there, I waited at the dead gum silos and all that kind of. <sighs> I ain't doing that mess again. It looks cool. Like they've done a really cool stuff. All can't the magnolia mess, but. That we went to the restaurant, Magnolia Market or whatever it's called. and $150 uh, for two people. No, no, no. no I, didn't, I didn't even get that far. <laughs> I walked in, and they said that they uh, only accept, like, it's not, it's just appointments or. Reservations. Not, well, they called it something else. It wasn't reservations. Oh. But it was like you walk in, and then you put your name on the list, and then you have to come back. What in the three world? And a, three and a half Hours. Oh, Three and a half was, hours later, I'd have forgot about it. No, I, did, I was like, yeah, we'll go to Cotton Patch. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> playing, <yeah. laughs> I'm we planning went, to eat. Yeah. Then, Cotton uh, Patch, I love it. Well, Chick-fil-A I, or something. I remember us going there, and Brooklyn's like, yeah, I remember seeing our biscuits on the TV show. I want to try it. Well, what you do is you plan it, grams. and you go for supper. Well, that's true, but they didn't open that time for supper. It oh. was for breakfast, lunch, and that That's time. all they do, I think. I think it is all they do. That's it. But it, I mean, it looks cool. They do really cool. I, I love seeing that they can revive something that's. Yeah. That's hey, look at our kitchen really at church. Ain't nothing better than that. Man, Dude, we speaking, got our own up here at church. <laughs> that's right. You. Yeah. There you go. Speaking of reviving stuff, you know, Stephanie went on a trip to San Antonio and she said the homeless population of San Antonio has blown up. Well, why? Why do you think that is? Hmm. I wonder. But now, so was, like they went lost. on, she went on a ghost tour. Right, I, dude. That's one of my most favorite things to do. <laughs> they got drive by with a kid that had an Orbeez gun. <laughs> <laughs> a what? One of those Orbeez it's a gel. Soft, it's like a gel bullet. It's like an airsoft. Uh, no, but it's like, not, but it doesn't hurt like as bad. It's a gel. Like they were t- they were sitting there talking, and she said the tour guide was a lot like you, like a, a carbon copy as far as like your personality. I could who, I could do who's it. Who's you, Brett? Brett. I could, yeah. Okay. I could do it. I, you better, uh, I, guess, sorry. You gotta, I was pointing. But you got to explain that for our <laughs> listeners on, the, I on was, the pre-show. I was pointing. Does that not matter? <laughs> now, pre-show people don't but, understand. You're right there. Watch Brett. the video. <laughs> <laughs> but she said they were all standing there and listening, and then all of a sudden you hear this car start coming up, and this kid sticks this, like, looks like an AK-47 out the window, mm. and it just makes that's, that Orby sound, that little... That's not scary in this day and age. Yeah, I know. I know, and I told yeah, her, I was like... I can't get shot this I was like, age. number one, you're in Texas. Number two, there's a lot of people that carry. I was <laughs> like, had that been me and I saw that come out, I'm I drawing know. on it. No, for sure. <laughs> 
Yeah, and that's your but right. That's the, everybody, like I think she said, it was like a group of fourteen that were that were in on her tour, and like seven or eight people got hit. She got she was like scratching her neck or something, Ali. and it hit her in the she hand. Died. Uh. <laughs> Had they been real? Jeez. Yeah. We, no we, I mean, like Brett said, we saw her clip with the Bushman, and then there was the Bushman. That was we oh know my that gosh. she's she's flight, not fight. Yeah. Oh yeah, straight up. <laughs> at, least, at least her reaction is instant, though. Yeah. Because yeah. like true, my wife has a build up. And whenever we used to watch uh, <laughs> Walking Dead or like a scary show, she has a build up. It's a, <gasps> and then it comes ah! out. You know, it's, it's a good two to three second build yeah. up, and then it, it scares you because the scare has already gone past. Yeah, and then she scares you again. We we walk through the, I'm not you know, putting the plug in out there, but the world's largest walk through haunted house in Fort Worth, and uh, that was one of the most hilarious things because <laughs> entertainment wasn't what you're walking through people it was the her yeah, yeah. <laughs> well that's like when we watched the walking dead the entertainment wasn't the show it was oh, her no. yeah the show's <laughs> t- stupid because we all <laughs> we all knew it was coming and we'd immediately all start looking at her <laughs> but yeah so like um so she basically made a pact that they like she wasn't going to go out after like eight or nine o'clock and i told her because there was this we went there that's like, gosh, I guess it was four or five, three, four or five years ago. I don't know. It's, it's been a little bit. But there was this little place, and it was a, a Belgian waffle place. It was open 24 hours a day. In San Antonio? Yes. So they speak Belgian Spanish? No, there was an actual. A, that is a good question. There's actual. It was actually Belgian owned. There was a guy there that you could, I mean, he had the accent. Dude, the, the waffles were, I don't know, massive. But you mm. could get ice cream on top of them. Mm. You could get fudge. So is that Belgian or Belgian men? I have no idea. What? <laughs> <laughs> but she said all that. <laughs> I just. Curious. <laughs> but all that stuff that like all they had like all these little shops and stuff. It's all gone because they are tearing that down to get you ready for this. They're making an informational thing about the Alamo. Cool. Because apparently people don't know their history anymore. They don't. No, they no. don't. No, they don't. And they think that that little building that's there right now is. Is it that was the Alamo? Right. Oh yeah. yeah. Wow. Even though they take you on a tour <laughs> yeah. and say this yeah. is not all there was. Right. This is a huge corral yeah. and a huge yeah. piece of land. And but she said the the homeless people there were just. She said she saw a guy laughing and talking again, with a trash can. Again, let me ask you oh. why? Why? <laughs> why? Bob. He was talking to Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> why? Border open borders. Well, control yeah. too. Open borders. You dude. dumb down the the citizens and oh, then yeah. they just listen. We well, talked about this on the last episode with the education. Yeah. How it's just training you to be a slave. No, no I meant why the why the homeless to, population explosion. Oh. Open borders. Yep. Nobody's got drugs. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, where are they? And where is the first stop across the border? Free government. Benefits. San Antonio, Houston, San Antonio. Somebody was saying that they that the border patrol has a hundred mile radius from. The border to do any kind of stops. Yes. To see what's going on. Yep. Wow. But I didn't know that because they said they got stopped and we're like, we're not even close to the border. And they're like, yeah. And it's a they don't even have to have a warrant to search your vehicle. No. Mm-hmm. no. They can just search it because yep. it's because there's so many people mm-hmm. doing that smuggling crap. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah, crazy. it's crap. it's crazy because like I've seen stuff that <laughs> that like they're so trained they can sit there and they can look at the height of a vehicle and be like, I'm gonna stop that one right there. Yeah, we're sick. Opens the door about. and then there's like it's uneven. Yeah. yeah or it's riding tell. funny. I'm like I can tell it's loaded, but I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> we just riding funny, bro. <laughs> don't come to East Texas right. because it's riding it's dirty down the whole time with all the potholes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna so. dig with this baby. <laughs> <laughs>